dreamers and creators have your brushes ever got to this point where they're looking like this that's a no-no these brushes look like they've been through the fire and they have <laughs> i previously cut some hairs from this one and the middle one but we're gonna try to revive the ones that are left in this video we're going to do two different methods including an oil bath and the first one we're boiling some water this water is boiling hot and i just poured it from the pot so we're gonna let these brushes soak in here and we're gonna roll them and try to shape them back manually now real quick if you're wondering the difference between a red sable hairbrush and your Kalinsky sable hairbrush the price difference and the Kalinsky lasts a little longer after you roll your brushes around in your bowl using the bottom of the bowl to reshape the head you're gonna place them in a paper towel and wipe but I'm gonna show you a little closer in a minute you're going to be squeezing firmly with the paper towel as you wipe because that will help reshape them as well you don't have to use a bigger bowl like me you can use something more slim and narrow and taller to use less water or less oil you're leaving them in the water for a longer time maybe five minutes or so while you play with them and constantly re-roll them into shape but the oil bath is not going to be this long the brushes are kind of like a plant i heard someone say and i like this analogy they're going to suck up exactly what they need so you don't need that much time in the oil bowl So I'm going to get my paper towel ready and I'm going to show you a demonstration of how to rub and wipe your brushes. And excuse my beautiful hands, I was modeling one hand while my other hand is completely undone. So I have one hand full of nails and the other hand without any. <laughs> you see how I'm wiping left to right side to side in the same uh, motion. This is how you do it and it's forming into a point you can see like i said my brushes were an extreme case of worn in beat down so if your brushes weren't this extreme they may not take as much time as mine were my main brush which is this one i'm wiping now it had the most damage done to it and that came from me using a cuticle pusher to remove dried and hardened acrylic and you don't want to do that because that's what causes your hairs to be very weak and dried out and some people use acetone to clean their brushes but i've also seen where you should never let acetone touch your brushes your kalinsky hair so if you're going to use acetone, I'll just say use it as less, like literally as less as you can. This brush I'm wiping now still works and I'm able to use it for certain things and certain um, designs. But the way that I cut it before I knew any better on how to cut your brushes, I damaged the shape and just cut it recklessly. So it looks kind of weird, but like I said, I'm still able to use it for some things. If there are more methods and ways out there, leave them below in the comments. I did a double time with the boiling water and you see it helped shape these much better than what, where they started. And it's still not perfect, but this is much better than before. So these two methods really helped and I'm gonna do the oil now and show you guys that. this one also looks a lot better already before the oil treatment so we're just gonna keep going i showed them all starting off so i wanted to show them all after the first method the hot boiling water
In a perfect world, everybody will know proper brush care and treat their brushes with love and we won't have to watch videos like this, but this is where we are. For the people who, like me, didn't treat their brushes with love from the beginning. So I wanted to roll them around and let them soak up as much as possible like they're getting a mini spa date and just soak up some of that oil to regain some of their I almost said juiciness but moisture because they were dried out especially for me uh, harshly scraping with the cuticle pusher I'll never do that again I'll try my best to make that promise to my girls and if something gets stuck in there I will just soak it in monomer not acetone not pure acetone because I have pure acetone and like I said that's quite drying so once again I'm gonna do that rolling method on the paper towel but I'm just testing to see if she's had enough oil and this is a two by four, two by two, sorry. This is doing the same thing as my paper towel. I'm using it firmly to press it back into shape and make sure she's moisturized and happy. If you did some fast forwarding, then you didn't hear me when I said I started off with the worst case scenario brushes. So I'm very happy with my results because it's not perfect back to brand new but it has come a long way. We started in the trenches. <laughs> I, I did some wear and tear on my babies and I'm polishing the handles as well because oil is known to get that acrylic build up and old paints off. So I'm polishing and making those, look, those parts look shiny too. Now the warm oil treatment and the boiling hot water are the two methods I used in this video. If I missed any or if you know of more, please comment them below. Feel free. In my universe, this is a lovely sharing and generous community where we share knowledge with one another. And if you're wondering why after their uh, spot treatments with the oil, why would I go back in with monomer? We all know what will happen if we try to apply acrylic or any other product with the oily brush. So I'm just using monomer, not acetone, to do another like sweep through with it. And I'm still being gentle and I'm only using a small amount. I just want to make sure they're clean and dry before I put them away. And I don't want to try to go applying acrylic nails and I got oil still running out of my brush because they do store a lot. If you missed my little sticky note memo, that's my baby breathing all heavy in the background breastfeeding. So just excuse that. Thank you. Repeat after me, lovers, dreamers, and creators. I vow to take better care of my brushes and treat them with love like they deserve and they will last me so long
thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate you so much and i'm gonna just show a little clip of where we started off and where we are now you'll see that it made a big difference even though i had the worst case scenario brushes so they i didn't expect them to be back to looking brand new but you can hope for the best and i i'm just proud of where they are now and i'm gonna take better care of them You could easily toss your brushes and just go buy new ones, but you don't really want to be that kind of person or have that kind of mindset where you just mess things up. You want to cherish things, take care of them, and they'll last and they'll take care of you. If you don't like my results or this bold cut job that I have and I'm still saving it anyway, then you could watch a few other videos on YouTube that probably didn't start off as far behind and tore up as I did. 